hi guys this is hakim welcome back to my channel so in this video we'll be looking at phone gap we'll be building an app with um phone gap so what's phone gap phone gap is a mobile app framework that is used to develop a mobile app so with your knowledge of web technology such as css javascript and html you can build a mobile app which um will be able to run on multiple platforms so you don't need to know um different language for um different platform in order to build um apps for various platforms so um phone gap is actually um a distribution of Cordova. so you might see some tutorials about Cordova or phone gap they are pretty much um the same thing so um the major difference about phone gap and, and Cordova is just um the phone gap build so this um a service where you upload your um project files and you and it's going to build your app for you so they are pretty much the same um both um installation and plug of plugins and how to build your apps so um let's start building our phone gap app so um so head over to phonegaps.com slash get started so there's actually um two ways to build this phone gap app you can use um the phone gap desktop app or we can use the phone gap cli tools so to use the cli tool, you need to um, install node and then you use npm to install the um phone gap phone gap cli so um in this tutorial we are going to use the phone gap app which i've installed in my device and i'm going to bring it up right now So once you install the PhoneGap app and you open the PhoneGap app, it's going to display um, this interface. So to create a project, you click on this um, plus icon and you click on create new project. So it's going to ask you to select a template. There's a um, hello world template, a blank template, a framework 7 template. I have some videos about framework 7 if you are interested on knowing how framework 7 works so we are going to create we are going to click on this and we are going to select this hello world template and we'll click on the next button so it's going to ask us for um for a folder so we are going to choose a folder in the in my desktop folder so click on this my app and select the folder so we are going to add the name of the app so we are going to call it our phone gap app can give it any name of your choice and it's going to ask of for an id so this id is going to be a unique id so um it's highly recommended to use um a reverse the reverse name of your domain for example if your domain is um example.com so it's going to be um com dot example dot the app name which is phone gap phone gap app after that we are going to click on this create project so it's going to create a project for us uh, so it has created the project for us so right now if you click on this link it's going to open the app on on a new tab so this is the app right here so i would like to walk you guys through the um, phone gap project so i'm going to open the um, phone gap project in, in my vs code so I open the VS code and I'm going to select the project. So I'm going to look for the folder. So desktop. And this is the folder. So right now we have the project. So this um WW is where you are going to um put all your um your web your web file such as css javascript and html so i'm um, this plugin folders is the um folder that holds the plugin and this platform folders is the folder that holds the platform so once you build for um, a specific platform it's going to add the platform in the folder so as you can see you have a browser platform so once you build um once you build for android it's going to add um a android folder right here which is going to contain um, the files for for that platform so um next we are going to look at we are going to look at the 
index.html um, so this is the index.html inside index.html there is um, a h1 tab which has phone gap and this is i think and and there's a d with the id of um, device ready and has this paragraph with some text in it so right here there's a script tag that links to um codova.js so this codova.js is um the file that mostly allows us to communicate with the native apis but if you look at the um, folders right here you'll not be able to get them um, this codova.js this is because of this um, file is going to be added once you build the app and there's an index.html index.js which is over here so let's open the index.js so in this index.js there's a um, app constructor that has um, several methods an initialize method that is right here in the index dot um um index dot html and right here there is um index dot js so right here there is um this document dot add event listener so there are several events in in phone gap or codova so this event is a device thread event so this event is going to fire up once the um the app is fully loaded so you can check some events there is um online offline resume so you can read about more of those events in the documentation and this is just um some method this on device ready which um is being called once this um device is ready so um next file we are going to look at is the config.sml so this config.sml is the file that is going to hold um the configuration of the app so right now there's um, a name tag so this is the name of the app so if you change this name the name of the app is going to change and here there's a description tag so right now you can put some description in this tag and also there's a author tag so you can add the author if you wish so um there is this um tag right here called plugin with name attribute so um this is just a plugin um tags so once you add this plugin and you build once you add these tags any time you build your app so it's going to look for these um plugins if it's not available right in this folder it's going to look for it and it's going to download the plugins for you and also once you add some plugins it's going to automatically add these um tags to it so there's a platform um tag right here inside this platform tag there is the name attribute called android so inside the platform tags everything right here is about the android so it is icon tag so this is just for the icons and you can add your icon or you can um, locate this folder and um, paste your own icon right here or you can create a folder for icon and i'm going to link it to this um you're going to add the part right here and also there is um a platform with name of ios so pretty, it's pretty much the same with the icon and has some splash screen um, image right here so I think this is for the web and this is for the windows so right here um, this allow intent um, it works with a plugin called call and whitelist so this plugin allows us to um, to access other links so this um, allow intent is going to allow the app to open other links that, has, that have HTTP or HTTPS and this allow intent is going to allow the app to open um, the phone app and it's going to this other one is, uh, is going to allow the app to open um the the message app so on and so forth so um that'll be all for the files so next we are going to do right now i'm going to locate the um the phone gap project and i'm going to zip it then i'm going to um upload the file and i'm going to build it and install it on our mobile phone so what i'm going to do right now i'm going to look for the project which is at the desktop so i'm going to open the desktop so um this is the project right here so i'm going to zip it right now so i'm going to zip it I press ok so let's um open the phone gap um build the phone gap build service so this is the phone gap build so right here um we can upload our app or we can pull it from our repo but we are going to use um this upload option right now 
so um, let's see if the um if the zip is complete so we are going to drag the zip file and we are going to put it right here so right now it's going to upload the app the zip file so i'm um, right now it has upload the um it has upload the um the, the zip file so once we click on this enable um debugging it's going to allow us to debug the app and we can click on enable um um hydration so um we are going to click on ready to build so once you click on ready to build so um it's going to build for all these platforms the uh, ios android and windows so the ios i think the ios is ready already let's see so they are both building okay um the ios ha um is giving some issues because um it's asking for the um for i think it's the <clears throat> i think it's asking for developer key which i don't have at the moment so right now let's let's download the um apk file so we are going to save it at the desktop so we are going to save it right here so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to um, paste it in my phone then i'm going to install it once i install it i'll get back to you guys okay guys i'm back so actually I've, I've installed the app on the mo on my mobile phone so is this actually the app so it's the same app right here that we got here by the same app so i just installed it on my mobile device okay in the next video i want to take one of our framework 7 app and we're going to um build it with phone gap i'm going to install it on our mobile device okay that's all for this video if you find this video helpful please like and share and if not subscribe to my channel Please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.